time series using a regression line for your trend line and forecasting. In this graph you see that the time series in blue has already been plotted and the points have been joined together point to point with straight lines. The time scale here Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday that's three days that are repeating so a three point moving average was calculated and those moving average values have been plotted also in red so we're now at a stage where we need to do a line of best fit through these moving average points here and the two options are to do a line of best fit by I which we are not going to do here that's covered in a previous example and doing a line of best fit using a regression line which we are going to do here now if you have a regression line it has an equation in the form y equals a plus bx and y equals a plus bx is in the formula book and to work out the uh, equation of the regression line y equals a plus bx your data needs to go into your calculator in the table where you have x and y values now the y values are just the, the, uh, the moving average points that you have already calculated so um, uh, there's nothing to work out there you already have those at this stage but the x values create a problem because if you look at the x value underneath here yeah, it says Friday and you can't put Friday into the calculator there it's not going to understand what, um, uh, what's going on so you need numerical values here so typically what you find in uh, questions like this you have an additional scale underneath this one a numerical scale so for that point there so if I put one there underneath this point here two so follow this one down three and just continue like this and then I can call these values a um, uh, T this is the table that was used to produce the graph that you've just seen so you've got the weeks Tuesday Friday Saturday the three points which keep repeating this is the actual time um, uh, series here the moving average values and now you've got these additional T values here these are the same numbers that you've seen on the graph along here so on your calculator mode 2 option 2 put in the X values which are these T values here 1 to 7 now put in the moving average values the Y values make sure you check your data if you don't check your data and you've made a mistake you're about to waste a huge amount of time and then you're going to come back to this point and then realize your mistake so check your data thoroughly at this stage and then shift one regression the a value there equals 420.4 so in the equation y is equal to a plus bx we have y is equal to 420.4 and then shift one regression b make sure you press equals that's not the value of b 5679 times x make sure you put the x there that's the equation of the line that we need to plot on the graph remember that x here in the equation 
represents something on the horizontal axis and on the horizontal axis here we've used t values so we're going to put in t values here and your y values the data values are on this side okay so pick two values of t which are far apart from each other so if I've selected one here I'm going to pick them um, uh, let's pick 10 and if we substitute these values into our regression equation then we can plot two points on the graph and, the, and join them together with a straight line so the first one t equals 1 if I put 1 in here so 420 0.4 plus 5.679 times the t value there 1 and that gives 426 so we need to plot that point on the graph 426 so follow up from 1 to 400 is 10 20 26 is about there Okay, so there's my first point, and now I need another one for t equals 10. There's the t value of 10, that gives 477. So from t equals 10, I need 477. That's 400 there for 50, 60, 70. 477 is about here so that's my second point and now if I join them together there and extend the line all the way into the forecasting region for week 4 and I should do the same going the other way there we have it and as you can see that's a very good line for these moving average points that were plotted before so if you find that you've done your um, uh, line of best fit here using the regression equation and your line's up here or down here, you know, clearly not going through your moving average points, that means this equation here is wrong. You've made a mistake somewhere. It could be that you, you didn't put in the data properly into your calculator, so you've got the wrong values here, hence you've got the wrong um, uh, line at this stage. That's why it pays to double-check your data earlier on when you're... I'm uh, using the calculator to work out this equation. The method for forecasting from here onwards is what you've seen in a previous video where you take the trend line value, so as an example if you were going to forecast the Saturday for week 4, let's say we're forecasting this, so you would go from your Saturday up to the trend line, go over here, read off what that value there is, and once you've done that then you take all of the other Saturdays that are within the moving average range. So the first moving average value is there, so within that range between here, that's the last moving average value, you have this Saturday and you have this one, so then you would work out some uh, residuals, so that one there, and for this Saturday you would work out this residual here, work out their average and then you can do trend value which is the value there plus the average residual, the seasonal effect to give you the forecast.